There are only 850 chief data officers in the UK. And if you are in data right now, or if you're starting to work in data and this is your ambition, then you should be really strategic about every step that you do, every language you learn, and every person you connect with in order to get to the chief data officer level. Why is the chief data officer the most sought after position in the UK if you work in data? It's because there are so many different steps to get it. And obviously it's a really small talent pool compared to the whole global talent workforce in the UK. Imagine that there are over 8,000 companies there are at least 250 employees plus in the UK. And in total, there are 5.5 million companies. That means that 850 chief data officers, there are not even one every two companies, there are 250 employees plus. So there are a lot of places missing for chief data analytics officers to be in those companies. And there is a massive gap in there. So we should see an increase in number in chief data analytics officers in the UK. But despite that, it will always be tough to get it. And if you are in a career in data, I'm sure that some of you want to be a chief data officer. Why is the chief data officer the most sought after position in the UK if you work in data? It's because 850 chief data officers, there are not even one every two companies, there are 250 employees plus. So there are a lot of places missing for chief data analytics officers to be in those companies. And there is a massive gap in there, so we should see an increase in number in chief data analytics officers in the UK. But despite that, it will always be tough to get it. And if you are in a career in data, I'm sure that some of you want to be a chief data officer in the future. So let's step back a second. Do you know exactly what a chief data officer does? I had the pleasure to meet a few and there are not many in London. And some of the things that they were telling me is really inspiring. A chief data officer is not somebody who influences strategy and revenue of the company a lot. So they're really good at understanding how data can impact salary, revenue and costs. They oversee data governance and at the end of the day, they make company money or they help them save costs. This is what they do. They are strategic leaders. They usually, if not always, sit on the board of directors of the company. And they might be as important as chief marketing officers and chief financial officers because they are central within the organization. They translate data into business impact. They lead huge teams and they are ultimately responsible to drive impact. They don't code, they don't just get into the nitty gritty of data because under that, they have a lot of people that are good at it. Obviously, people who are chief data officers have bigger teams because of the fact that they should have a few directors, a few heads of, a few managers, a few senior analysts, a few analysts. So imagine they are massive organizations underneath the data teams. Obviously, they have a lot of impact in what they do and that's why they're paid so much. The minimum salary that I've seen a chief data officer earn was £200,000. And that's just basic pay. Because usually chief data officers, because they're sitting on the board, they have a huge compensation in terms of bonus, equity, stock options, and any other large sum of money that can come from selling a company, for example, or ownership of some parts of the company. So what are the careers that lead you to chief data officer? There are many. You can come as an analyst and then do the career path until chief data officer from manager to head of to director and then chief data officer. It can come from an analytic consultant who is very good at consulting companies and understanding data and therefore taking on that consultancy, consultancy path until chief data officer. It can also come from a data science background. If you are super technical and if you are super good with that data, and then you have a lot of business contacts into it and then you have capacity to lead teams, then you can become a chief data officer of maybe either a financial services organization that have data at the core of the business or if they work in a super strong product-led business. Or they can come from a data product background where they manage data products and then they become the owners of data within a product company. So they have seven key skills that you should develop throughout your career if you want to be a chief data officer. Number one, strategic thinking. You cannot just be a chief data officer if you just get into the numbers without seeing the business context. Second, commercial awareness. As I said before, chief data officers are there to help the company make money or save money. 
So this is extremely important. Third, stakeholder influence. They're able to influence chief data office, chief marketing officers, chief financial officers, CEO, directors. So they should have a huge level of stakeholder influence and impact. Data governance, because making sure the data is in the right place, it's fundamental. Leadership, they should be able to hire the right people and to lead the right people into making the right things for the company. Then communication and storytelling, because this is across everything we talked about before. And number seven, and last one, tech fluency. Although you're not coding as a chief data officer, you should be able to understand if the whole organization is going in the right direction. So you are gonna sit at the table to oversee the most important decisions that the company is doing in terms of the tech that they have. So what you should do if you are at a junior level, middle level, or already senior level, there are some things you can do to make sure that you can complete your profile. Obviously, if you start from scratch, bear in mind that those seven key skills are so important that you need to start from scratch. So you usually need to start from the tech competency, from the tech fluency and being able to code really well, but also have a very big understanding of the whole context of the company and then start being very commercial with decisions and make sure that everything you do in the data work that you're doing right now, it's oriented at getting the company money or saving the company money. And then you need to make sure that throughout your experience, you try different kinds of businesses, you can stay within the same organization, you can change industry, you can do a lot of different things as long as you understand a lot of different types of businesses and problems that you will be able to solve in the future. Then it's a really good point to start connecting with relevant leaders because you wanna be connected to the right people in order to make sure that you unlock the greatest opportunities, including the people who would hire you in the future, who will be CEOs, who will be company directors, founders. So make sure that when you analyze data, you are able to communicate the impact so that you can influence the right people. And this is just the start, but if you have those seven key characteristics in mind, it will be a lot easier to understand where you are compared to them, and then you can improve one skill at a time. But bear in mind, the positive thing that you have is you have time, you have energy, so start earlier rather than later. If you are a head of data director, you should be already in a place where you understand what are the best things that you can do right now, and you should know what are the things that are not working for you right now in favor for you to become a chief data officer. So make sure you understand what is the thing you're doing well, what are the things that you're not doing well, and make sure you have a concrete plan in order to build them out. Bear in mind that even if you are 10, 15 years, 20 years into your career, you know, data officers sometimes that 20, 25 or 30 years into their careers. So you have actually a long time. And unfortunately, we are going in a place where people are working more and more until this, I don't know, 68, 70. So make sure you connect to the right people because at the end of the day, although you could be really good with a lot of things, you need the right connections to be sure to be named as a chief data officer or considered as such and go beyond delivery, go beyond just getting in the detail of the technical stuff. Make sure that you can help the company make as much money as possible or save as much money as possible because that's what you're gonna be measured on. So from the start of my video today, you might have figured out that actually getting a job as a chief data officer is extremely complicated. But although it's super rare to have a chief data officer, we have reasons to believe that this profession will increase in power, but also there will be a lot more chief data officers. The reason is, as I mentioned before, there are just 850 chief data officers in the UK, which means that there is space for a lot more. There are 8,000 companies that have 250 employees or more, and therefore each of those companies have potential to have a chief data officer, provided that you can explain them why they need it. Reason number two, we are going in a world where AI is at the forefront of innovation and a chief data officer in the future could be a chief AI officer as well. So this will get into the category of chief data officers because chief AI officer is pretty much like that, but a bit more technical. So there will be a lot more chief data officers that could be AI focused in the future. And then if you plan there early enough and if you connect to the right people, then I'm sure that you will have the opportunity to get as close as possible to that. Bear in mind that if you connect with the right chief data officers at the right time, let's say you are ahead of and director level and you wanna to connect to some people in the industry, or maybe you wanna be part of chief data officers roundtable, or you wanna be part of organizations that 
get all those people together, it's really likely that if you hang around that circle and you meet enough chief data officers, you can get a lot of insights and information from them. And even if they will leave, they might say, the person that I know could be a really good chief data officer and therefore they can introduce you to be the next chief data officer. If you get senior enough with the right competence and you network with the right people, then there will be an opportunity where you are connected to somebody that you're gonna leave and they might refer you because the best thing that a chief data officer leaving a company can do is refer another person that they trust that can get into the organization in their place. So where are you today in the path to become a chief data officer? Are you at the start? Are you at the end? Wherever you are, you have enough time the most important thing is that you learn where you are, you understand what are the things you need to improve in order to get to that level and then hang around the right circle. If you have any tips or if you know any great chief data officer, just comment below and don't forget to subscribe and follow me for the next videos.